All right, so if we look at the comments, we can see um, that uh, there is a, a kind of a function that we have not talked about before, and that's the function called type. What the type function does is to tell us um, what kind of a thing the object is that we pass into it. So the argument that goes into the function is the thing that we want to know the type of, and then the return value, what comes out of the function, is the actual type of the object. So in this code here, I'm going to pass in a literal string, a word, and I'm going to ask what the type of it is, and then it's going to store the type of that variable in, uh, in this variable called the type, and then we will print it. So let's go ahead and run that code. So we'll notice it says class string or str, which is an abbreviation for string. So remember we talked about that objects are a part of different kinds of classes and string is a built-in class, uh, a simple kind of built-in class. Also recall that um, if, I, if I want, I can use single quotes. So just to see that it doesn't matter, we'll go ahead and change that. We see that we get the same result. So as I said in the last section, you can nest one function inside of another. And then essentially the output of the first function, the return value of the function that's on the inside, gets passed in as an argument of the function that's on the outside. So what this is get so what I'm asking is what is the type of true? And remember for Booleans, I don't put them inside quotation marks, I just write them out with a capital letter. So it's going to ask what is the type of that? And then it's going to take that type and pass it in as the argument of the print statement and then show me on the screen what kind of a thing true is. So let's go ahead and run that. It says class Boolean, okay, which we already knew because true is an example of a Boolean literal. Now, I have actually sort of oversimplified by saying that numbers are a type. It turns out there are actually several different kinds of numbers. We'll talk about two of them right now. So if I run this cell, I can see that the, this number three here is in the class integer, so its type is integer, and 4.6 type is float, which is for floating point numbers. So basically an integer is a number that doesn't have a fractional part, and a floating point number is one that has a decimal point. And so uh, sometimes this matters if you use something that's supposed to have an integer and you, and you use a floating point number, it can generate an error. 